Hey, it's me, Garbage Lady. Um, no, Aki. Uh, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a Rob's Adventure kind of video. I've uh, just filmed my uh, birthday month, fashion week, last day video, and I um, came across something that popped into my mind that I wanted to talk to you about. It's pulling out my hair. What do you think? Um, no. Um, I've been talking to people and um, mainly online people are like a little bit more daring or like they feel no shame or like they feel safe to do whatever they want or say whatever they want and honestly like 90% of the time people are quite respectful and they don't really mean any harm and I talk like a chicken like I, I don't know why um, people tend to oh I, I'm also naked face because I just came out of the shower and I'm like Okay, sort sort of naked face, mostly naked face. Um, what I wanted to talk to you about is questions or things that you can't do when you're talking to a transgender. And I that that sounds horrible. I mean, um, because we're in like this snowflake, super sensitive society these days. And I'm personally not yet because it's possible I will get sensitive but at this moment in this time I don't know why I had to say it like that um in this time I'm not sensitive about most of the things that people want to know or ask me and when I see people other fellow trans people talk about this they seem to be offended and I don't understand why um so I kind of wanted to talk to you about how I feel about this right now and at some point like if I start my hormone therapy and I get super sensitive about this oh guess I'll just look back at this video and be like you twat what did you say unrespectful what what's that screaming lemon always say unacceptable that um so um I'm gonna like for example, dead naming in Dutch. I don't even believe there's like an official term for that. I've, I've, I've haven't heard it. I've have it, have it. I haven't heard it. But using the previous name of a transgender can sometimes be seen as offensive. Of course, you don't. Mostly people don't do that um, on purpose. So like, I get that. It just it feels weird because like. It, it's like, uh, for me personally, it feels like a different lifetime, a different, like, I, it, I, rem I remember, I remember, shocker, uh, I mean, it feels like the part before I am who I am now was a movie, so I remember it clearly, it just wasn't my life, though the memories that I have, I do remember as my own, but as Robin, um, so it's sometimes confusing when I like I get sometimes a letter where, where I forgot to change everything, um, and so then I get confused. Or the other day I got a text and someone was like using my old name and I was like, oh, oh okay, okay, this is this is weird. Just this is just it's I don't know why because my new name and my old name are really like I mean, uh, um, but it's still it, it sounds different. It's not the same. It's it's not who I am anymore. Um, so people sometimes use my um, old name by accident um, and then they tend to be like oh my god I'm sorry I didn't mean to and this and that I mean that's nice and I mean where I know where it comes from but just don't make a big deal of it and just say the new the, the um, current name and just move on I mean don't make a big deal out of it because it's kind of awkward uh, if it happens it happens um, like, I talk to myself in third person, which is really weird to say. Um, but then, like, a few months ago, it happens less and less now, but a few months ago, I was, like, still using my old name. I was like, oh, no, bad. And then I just, like, continued by correcting myself. <sighs> just put me in the loony bin. I'm ready. Um, but, yeah, th those are things, apparently, also, when I'm on dating apps, uh, they have a lot of questions, the guys, and I get that. I mean, it's better for them to try and understand um, than to just be like, ugh. Or, or, or otherwise just assuming things. That's that's not that, not good as, uh, either. Um, but, like, asking about people's genitals is usually not conversation. 
conversation topic that you go two words after talking for two or three minutes ever like even in daily life you're like hey how are you going how are you going <laughs> how are you going um how are you doing by the way what's in your pants how about no um, it doesn't really matter what's in my pants. It's not that it offends me, and I understand why that, where the curiosity comes from. And it, it, like I said, it doesn't offend me per se, but it's not a question that I'm like, oh yeah, that's the, the thing that you really need to know. On the other hand, I understand the curiosity because they do kind of want to know what they're talking with. I don't know guys and dick pics so I guess that they're dicks chatting and so they assume that they're talking to chatting vaginas and they are not so they want to know if they are or not <sighs> guys are confusing this video instantly became inappropriate for children no I had to remind to uh, make that setting um so those are like I don't know weird things that people tend to ask um some are like, do you have implants already? I mean, they're not, not all women have big breasts. Not all women have breasts. They had them maybe, but they had to like remove them for, for a medical reason. And they're still women. So I don't see why that's per se important. And those kind of questions really tend to filter out guys who are sort of mostly interested in something um, specific, not always. Um, some guys are just really only into cis women, which is not per se a bad thing. I mean, it's, it is what it is. Um, but for me, that's instantly a filter that activates when it, when they're talking like that direction or in, in, in that way that I know, like they don't really care too much about my personality because the way I look seems to be important, which I understand looks are personal and important in your own way. But it looks fade, it looks change. I could be a blonde next year. And if you're like, oh, I love dark hair, well, bummer, because it could be white next year. And what, you're going to leave me then? So it's, of course, not that simple with genitals. And I, I mean, it's it's a very, very simple um, comparison. So I under, like, I get it, I get it but it's like, you d don't really, you know, don't. Um, also, things like, Oh, you're doing that like a, you're doing it like a real woman. Okay, I didn't know there was a handbook that I basically had to follow and learn so that I do I do everything like a woman. Okay, everything. Um, it's not insulting, but it's not really a nice person thing to say either. Uh, in the beginning, I had that a lot that a lot of people said to me, like, oh, look at that. You do that like a real woman. You do that very feminine. Guess what? Not all cis women are always feminine. Um, they, I mean, it's not, a, it's not something that you need to be to be a cis woman. Same for men. Not all cis men are super manly. Toxic masculinity and toxic femininity if that's a word, femininity, um, those are both extremes that we really need to stay away from. Um, so um, I got I got a little bit confused, a little bit flustered. Um, I, I, I got I get really offensive when um, people told me I did things feminine because I didn't realize that I was transgender. So I was like, no, oh, I'm a man. I don't, have blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Of <laughs> If I, if I, if I could see videos of my life, my, my life, my previous form, I would be like, oh, bitch, please, please. Um, so that's something. Uh, another thing is, um, it's like also the same. And I can't really disagree with that, but not agree with it completely either. Um, so I've had to remark before they say, like, that's not how a woman's mind works. Excuse you. I know a lot of girls who have the same mind as and way of thinking as I have. Um, and I like that doesn't mean that they're all like, are they all men? 
for that by by that logic, they could be all men, or I am just female and I just have a different view of yours. Oh, I'm getting sassy. That's because I'm <laughs> pissing myself off. Um, it's just those are really annoying things. Like um, a way of thinking isn't per se only masculine or only only feminine. It's like it's it, we have to stop and step. Stop and step away. Stop and step away. Um, I just caught myself on a box. We have to stop and step away from those really toxic um, rules. They're not really rules, but like um, expectations of genders. And it doesn't mean like, I don't per se like the term toxic masculinity because it's not always toxic some guys are just way more masculine they just are naturally more of the complete masculine side and behavior and thinking that's not bad the same thing with extreme feminine girls are not toxic feminine girls automatically it's just who they are. It's just the way how they feel and like to express themselves. That's not bad. But we can't make that the rules of society. This is not what this video was going to be about. But apparently I never stick to the script. If I would have a script, I ain't following it. Um, but yeah, so... Um, Otherwise, like, um, usually when I start conversations, they're like very careful, like I have questions, but I don't want to insult you. So I'm like, you don't worry if I say, if you say something or if you ask something that I don't feel comfortable, I'll, I'll just tell you. Um, but, um, I think I covered the, the, the most triggering parts, like the, the dead naming is kind of weird. Also the pronouns are kind of a thing. But usually it doesn't happen on purpose. Again, just correct and move on. Don't be like, oh, I'm so sorry, I did a mistake, I'm so bad. No, it just, I mean, I know how I sound. And people who know me, I understand that you still, like, sometimes, like, the brain is triggered by the sound that you hear. And then you're like, oh, P. It's okay. Just put a sh for it. Sh hey. Um... So that, and of course with the genitals and the, like, how many operations did you have? Or how many operations do you want? Doesn't matter. It, I'll, I'll get there on my own if I have something. Like, I don't know why that's important now in this time. Like, if I get there, I, I will talk about it if I want to. Because um, I, in the beginning, and sometimes, like, people ask this me before, like, it feels like this is going to be something I have to explain for the rest of my life. I'm not going to. I am, at some point, I am going to be comfortable in my body and be like, feel strong and safe enough that I don't need to explain it already before people ask questions. Um, and people shouldn't immediately ask questions about the only thing that they, they learn about me. like. I like Pokemon. Why don't you ask me about how I, why I like Pokemon or how did I get into Pokemon? Why is the trans thing way more important? It's not inf influencing your life. But Pokemon doesn't either, so. It did influence my life, though. Oh, you can't see it. My super head's in gray. Go ahead. Um, this is, oh, this is a classic almost going towards 20 minutes. Um, I'm gonna round it up here. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna say, like, if you meet trans people in the future, don't assume that you can just ask anything. Really think about it first. See if it's important or not. Like, what does it matter to you if I get breast implants or not? Is it that important? Um, I am, like, I understand the curiosity, but think about why you're curious about it. Does it really matter or is it something like, oh, a spectacle. Oh. That's not something I've seen before. I haven't seen that. On, I was, I was going to say you haven't seen that on TV, but I was like thinking of those cliche old typical drama series, but sometimes they like are up to date these days. So I might. Um, just be careful. Uh, this is a mentally very hard thing to go through. I have the blessing of having a very, I don't know, um, capable of dealing with this kind of brain because I mean I've been through rough 
times, but not like I've been through worse rough times of other reasons. Uh, like work experiences have damaged me way more than this has. So um, I'm very blessed that I have, and of course, like my environment is very open to it. I'm very blessed with all these things. But don't assume that every transgender in in your life, every transgender in your life, um, or if you meet other trans people, which is also like a horrible name to just like it's you like se separate them from the others by calling people that. But, um, don't assume that you can just. It, I think that goes for every every person. Like. Don't assume you can just ask any anyone anything um, just because you're curious. There's also something like Google if you really want to know, um, and of course, um, well, you can always add, say like I'm not sure if this is okay, um, but still like it sometimes triggers. So just just be careful. Just be careful because the mental thing is so fragile, and like I said, most trans people, including myself, I have to burp. Um, they go through uh, a lot of things mentally. It's a big change. Sometimes chance, big chance. Um, they go to a lot. Uh, go through a lot. Some deal with it better than others. Some have more luck in their environment with friends and family than others. So just be careful. And um, I've been. I've said just be careful like a million times the last two minutes. <sighs> just be careful. Okay. Um, if you do have questions about my transition you can always contact me directly i've just given you the things that are sensitive uh, um, but if you really like uh, want to know different things uh, a lot of things are on my youtube by the way i've just i talked about almost everything about now that i've like if i come up with a thing that i'm like Ooh, then i talk about it here um and this is one was one of the things um that that came up in my mind. Um, but if you have other questions in general, or, or wanna like, if you know somebody who can use help, you can always direct them to me. And not that I'm a professional, I am no way in any way or form a professional in what subject, no matter what, maybe Pokemon, a little bit. There are probably people who know a lot more about that than even then. But still, if you know anyone who has doubts or questions or is struggling, you can always like refer them to my YouTube or they can send me questions uh, in, in Instagram, in, in, on Instagram, on Facebook. Um, so I am um, ready to, I am ready. I mean, I want to help people because it's a really hard thing to go through, especially in the beginning. It's so hard to deal and to accept. And so it, I think it helps if other people talk, period. No, uh, I'm rambling. You know what I mean. The message is clear. Stop the talking and go to the outro, which I don't have. Um. So yeah, that's it for this video. I am going to the next update that it's scheduled is end of november in the meantime if i come if i, if I come up with something that i'm like mm, like i uh, i just said that already with the same mm. um i will post a video and elsewise it will elsewise elsewise it will be um and uh, the next robin's adventure will probably be somewhere end of november it's gonna be a long one because it has there's two appointments in the clinic, so I have that to talk about. And probably something else, uh, but we will see. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!